Well guys, I said in a previous video that if Toyota added a panoramic moonroof to the Tundra, that'd be cool. But if they retained that roll down back window, that'd be even better. How about both? So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Earlier this morning, Toyota dropped this video bomb on us of the interior of the Tundra with a beautiful panoramic moonroof. This is incredible and then in the back, that back window just rolled down. A very, very cool thing. One of my favorite things that I have on our first gen Tundra as well. It started in 2004 with the double cab Tundras, a full four door Tundra, that whole back window came down. The second gen Tundras still had it and the 2.5 gens, the little bit of a refresh in 2014, I believe that was the year, uh, kept that as well. So it's a very, very cool feature and it is a feature that a lot of people wish and hoped that this next generation Tundra would have and it does. The back window rolls down on what we assume is the four door because this interior of this Tundra seems to be that same interior of that white TRD Pro that was revealed from Toyota. It has the red interior, it has the red seat belts, and it has that back window going down. So safe to assume four door Tundras will have it. We don't know yet if on the double cabs like the smaller version of that, not the Crew Max or whatever they're gonna call it for this next generation, will have a full roll down back window, but at least we know it is confirmed for some model of Tundra, very cool. So not only that guys, but Toyota confirms a panoramic moonroof in the Tundra and it is awesome. This headliner shot is very, very cool, showing us a full, big, nice sheet of glass up there. I mean, guys, guys, I'm so hyped, four doors, all the windows down, moonroof back, you can still see behind you with that glass, and then the back window rolls down too. It's like, it's, it's a truck Jeep, essentially, <laughs> with all these windows down. You can't take the roof off, whatever. You, you get the next best thing, and it's the moonroof open, you can, still see it out the re you can still see out the rest of it, all four doors down, and the back window down. I mean, talk about, airflow and just a beautiful day just driving that truck wherever the heck you are so awesome so ah, so hyped for it also in this headliner shot too guys you can see some like additional speakers so we do know that this truck has the jbl audio system not sure if those speakers play into it if they are for so i don't i don't know i don't know i'm not going to speculate but there's speakers up in the headrest as well we do not see HVAC vents up there, so I assume it is in the rear console. Or if they bring back like what my Tundra has, they actually have it in the side pillars. So in the B pillars, I have AC vents. So it'd be cool if there's some in the center console and in the B pillars as well for that truck, uh, just to get some good airflow to the people in the back seat. But other than that, no other information on Tundra. Don't know the release date yet. Whenever all this official information is coming out, no powertrain stuff. Toyota's just giving us little teasers by little teasers. And this one, this one's so cool. I mean, it, Ford has it, we get it. The Raptor has it, like the Ram TRX has it. I, we've seen it in trucks, it's cool. But for Toyota to do this with their vehicles, it's, it's very awesome and we're hyped. And Toyota's doing it better, as always, because the back window rolls all the way down. So people say Toyota's always late to the game and they bring it all the way because just uh, they, they go above and beyond. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If y'all are new around here, definitely consider subscribing for more Toyota content, news, reviews, how to's and rumors. Returning subscribers, thank you so much as always for your support, I really appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next video. All right, see you later.